So today we're going to go through a little bit about how to activate your core correctly when you're doing any kind of core exercise or in fact even when you're running and doing um, on the bike. You should be always thinking about this. So I'm going to come in a little bit close to the camera uh, so you can see my stomach a little bit more as I go on to explain how to do this. So what lots of people make the mistake of doing with their core, uh, which is kind of going back to uh, a little bit about how people were taught during the kind of 80s or 90s, uh, talk about like kind of pushing your back into the floor when you do core exercises, or you see a lot of people, I'm gonna come in closer, breathing in and to engage the core, they think that they've got to do this and pull up through the rib cage. That's not what you want to do. So what you want to be trying to think of, pull this down a little bit, is you want to be thinking of these, your hip bones here and the bottom of your rib cage here. So this is a rectangle. So to activate your core, you've always got to be thinking about you're trying to draw this rectangle together a little bit. So if I inhale, as I exhale, I'm going to draw that rectangle together. So a lot of it is about the breath work. As you breathe, as you exhale, the diaphragm comes up and therefore comes up in your pelvic floor. So from this sideways on, drawing the ribcage together, and you can see that activation. So it's actually about softening the ribs. So you might hear me talk a lot during um, some of the classes or some of the pre-recorded um, segments about softening your ribs, as opposed to if you flare them, you're exerting energy this way, you wanna be softening the ribs, drawing that rectangle together. The other thing to think about is you always wanna be thinking about shoulder blades here, drawing those together back and down. So you're not crunching up through your shoulders, drawing your shoulders back and down, softening the rib cage. So hopefully that will help a little bit. You need to be thinking about it all the time, uh, particularly in some of the core exercises uh, where you have a long lever, which means kind of taking your leg away. So that's a longer lever and that can be where your tummy will pop. Um, and in the past, you would have heard a lot of people saying at that point, press your back into the floor. It's completely wrong, don't press your back into the floor. It's about softening through your rib cage, engaging to take that pop out of the tummy and engage properly. The pop will happen every couple of seconds, so it has to be something you think about um, all the time, thinking about that engagement, uh, and eventually the engagement becomes uh, natural rather than you having to be like, okay, I've lost it again. So any questions then do let me know in the Facebook group.